Hello possums, Drama Smith here and uh, in front of our little tourist trap area. Um, still not as good as I could be <laughs> but slowly getting there. Um, I have plans, I really want to work on this but I'm really not up to it today so we're just going to do something little but it's something that needs to be done that's been waiting to be done for a long time. You can see what it is. It's the road. I've started digging out a little path for it and I've marked it with torches and you can see where the torches march across over the hill they eventually join up with the viaduct so that's what we're going to start with I'm going to dig this out properly I haven't got a fully fledged road design I don't want this the whole way I mean this is a clean neatly maintained path for a tourist area I think as it goes out it'll get a bit more broken up I really like Avamance's road design I might do something very similar to that oh then again I might not I don't know <laughs> first things first though I have to dig this out so that's what I'm gonna do and we'll see where that gets us Okay, I still have a little bit to dig out just up to the viaduct and this little bit here, but other than that, <clears throat> I'll see if we can do this. Yes, I can. All right, let's go up. So you can see where I've dug along here and all the way over to here. And if we come back... I actually terraformed some of this. Some of it's dug out. Some of it has the land around it raised up. Because that's a good way to get rid of excess dirt. Because otherwise, believe me, I'd be overflowing with the stuff. So, what I'm going to do now is start building my road. Putting in curb and guttering and a surface and working out a pattern and let the game crash that's really annoying all right back on track I don't know what happened there so I'm going to put in curb and guttering and a surface work out what sort of surface I want and I'll see you when I've done that because quite frankly if I'm building my throat's not being ravaged by talking. <laughs> okay, see you in a few moments. Okay, I'm back and as you can see, the road's all done. I've just taken a slow fall potion so we can have a look. Anyway, I'm not sure about this road. It could be too much of a patchwork. There's cobble, um, stone brick, smooth stone, andesite polished andesite, gravel, it could be a bit too much of a mix, I'm not sure. It is done. Let me know what you think. It could, oh, my brain says it's a bit too patchwork. I'm not sure. And I haven't got a good transition for here, I know that. We will gently drift to a halt. There we go. <sighs> anyway, this is it. But what we're going to do now is work out a system for lighting it. It'll take a little while for those particles to wear off, sorry. Uh, we'll come up here. Here's a good stretch. Now and put those away. You can see where I've been fighting some things. I've got a number of things for lighting. We've got fence posts, obviously. Not for lighting, but for making lights. We've got redstone lamps, some glowstones, some sea lanterns. We have a piston and a daylight detector and some trapdoors. We've got torches, of course, and a lever. So let's see what we can do with these. Now the simplest one really 
is oh that's interesting and very disconcerting and really hard to place <laughs> all right that's the simplest one I could also use a cobble wall but I don't really want to and we could top it with a slab of some sort all right another option is that no actually I hate that <laughs> that's not another option at all <clears throat> all right that's another option let's get rid of this there we are that's another option um, good old glowstone with trapdoors So that's another one. Um, could try something similar to what we've got at the docks. What else could we do? Oh good, it's worn off. Hooray, much easier. Right, there's that one. Could have the same thing, but like that. Um... All right, the other option is the invisible method. We'll move down a little bit to do this. Oh, it's a chicken. Oh, thank goodness for that. Okay, we'll have to take out the one next to it. All right, piston in upside down light source under it pop the block back now if we have a look see 10 11 12 13 right on top you don't even have to open that piston because um, it doesn't block the light so our other option is to just put piston blocks all the way down <clears throat> it doesn't look too different let's get up here and have a look I may decide that that blackboard around it is not wanted. <sighs> Can't even get up. There we are. So is that that too noticeable? Or do we want to go with something like this? Hmm. Anyway, that's an option. These are options. I wish we had lanterns. Oh. Lanterns are actually cheaper than pistons. Um, I don't know. Let's try this while we're here. Oh, it can't have one at the back. I mean that looks okay until you come around the wrong side so that's not gonna work all 
All right, so let's try it on this one. All right, that's also a possibility, although it looks a bit like a diving helmet. <laughs> Funny, it looks okay on the glowstone and the torch, but not the sea lantern. Anyway, they, one, two, three, four, five, six are our lighting possibilities. Hmm. Got to think about it. And on that note, while my voice sinks slowly in the West, I'm going to leave it. I'm sorry, it's a bit short. But anyway, if you've liked this, you know what to do. Whack the like button. Subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell. And I'll see you, hopefully with a bit more voice, next time.